On this episode of NCAP TV, I'm going to talk to you about how to clean for health, how we can improve the overall condition and the health of the building through good carpet cleaning, something that's on everybody's mind right now with this coronavirus pandemic. So stay tuned and we'll get right into that. So can we sanitize or totally disinfect a carpet? That's a question that we get here at Excellent Supply pretty much every day right now during this pandemic. Short answer is absolutely no. You can't sanitize. You can't disinfect a porous surface. You can sanitize a tabletop, a hard surface, something that's non-porous, but when you're dealing with soft fiber, you can't do it. First of all, there's just too many areas for the microbials to get in there and hide. You can't pull all that out of the carpet. There's no way that you can truthfully make a claim of disinfection of carpet. Now, put that on the side, and what we're gonna talk about now is how we can clean for health, how we can actually improve the health of the carpet and the health of the building through carpet cleaning methods. We're gonna share a couple of tricks with you that will help you to lower the microbial content in the carpet, which is really the most that we would wanna to claim to our customer is that we're gonna make it healthier. So that's what we're gonna talk about now. Okay, so we got the disclaimer out of the way and you understand now that you cannot disinfect a carpet totally. You can't totally sanitize a carpet. Hard surfaces are one thing. Fiber, it's not gonna happen. It's soft, there's too much area for microbes and germs to hide. However, strategies that some cleaners are using to help lower the microbial content and to provide a healthier building to clean for health is to use a disinfectant first. So in other words, using a strong disinfectant like Santaquat, diluting it, applying it, giving it 10 minutes or more of dwell time before cleaning and then cleaning like normal preferably with hot water extraction to rinse that out of the carpet, you're going to greatly lower the microbial content. Again, not total disinfection. We're not going there. You're not gonna sanitize the carpet, but you're gonna reduce or lower your microbial content by applying the uh, disinfectant first and then allowing dwell time and cleaning it like normal afterwards. Another question that we get is, can I use a hydrogen peroxide product like our release at NCAP Hydrox to, again, reduce or lower microbial content? Since this is such a frequently asked question, we've gone ahead and produced an FAQ doc, and I'll put a link to it below. But here's what it says in that document. This document makes the comment that using NCAP Hydrox mixed at 13 ounces per gallon it's a little higher than normal, but it will yield a 0.5% hydrogen peroxide solution at 0.5% hydrogen peroxide solution, very strong. Now, the CDC, they have a section on their website for disinfecting and under hydrogen peroxide, they make this comment. Hydrogen peroxide is active against a wide range of microorganisms including bacteria, yeasts, fungi, viruses, and spores. Again, they're talking hard surfaces. They're not talking carpet, but it gives us some context. It goes on to say a 0.5% accelerated hydrogen peroxide demonstrated bactericidal and virucidal activity in one minute and mycobactericidal and fungicidal activity in five minutes. So again, we're not saying that this is disinfecting for carpet. In fact, we make this comment in the document. Hydrogen peroxide has been confirmed to lower microbial content on non-porous surfaces. However, it simply is not possible to render total disinfection when cleaning carpet using any product. NCAP Hydrox is not registered as a disinfectant with the EPA. No sanitizing claims are made with this product. But as you see, using strategies like what we're talking about here, we can improve or lower, lessen, reduce microbial content in carpets and improve the health of the building. So hopefully this will give you some ideas as you work with your customers. I just talked to a carpet cleaner who last week cleaned 130,000 square feet and it was really done with the thought of improving the health of the building. He used Cymex's first and then went behind with portables 
using portables in most of the building and just using his truck mount on the lower level because he couldn't get his truck mount hoses to the rest of the building. But he said the overall results were excellent and he was able to achieve a healthier, cleaner building for, the, for the, his customers. And really that's what we want to focus on right now is to improve the health of the building, improve the overall uh, level of clean so that they can uh, be healthier as they enter their building. So using strategies like this will hopefully help you to uh, address a need that people have right now. Get out there and help your customers clean for health and hopefully this will help you as you max your end cap. If there's anything we can do here at Excellent Supply to help you or assist you, let us know. Thank you for watching this episode of NCAP TV. Please hit the like, uh, share your comments below, subscribe. We appreciate it when you do that as well. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.